Today's gaming video is brought to you by Rule Your Bitcoin. Sign up today and get $5 to invest with. Mogo Crypto is the easiest way to buy and sell Bitcoin in Canada. Try it out with a free $5 on us. Wow, beautiful. Merman. But they're all green. You have entered an aquatic throne room. As one would expect, such a place has a throne of sorts. But what you see seated in it takes your breath away, if that still applies. It is unmistakably the ruler of the Mer people, the king of this watery world, wow. known by many names. Neptune is the one by which he is best known to your kind. Okay. Good to meet him. King Neptune is tall and imposing and has a long gray beard. A crown fashioned of an unknown metal adorns his head. You bow before the king. He returns the gesture with a lowering of his own head. You open your mouth to speak, but only a bubble emerges. It begins floating up to the surface. Okay. You watch as your air bubble divides in two. Incredibly, each half maintains its semi-spherical shape. You take the half bubbles in your hands and position them respectively near your mouth and ear. A deep, elegant voice instantly booms from them. You are welcome here, human. Thank you. I am King Graham of Daventry. Your courtesy depicts your stature. What is it you seek here? You explain that you are seeking the three gems, three gems of, nature, of nature and that you believe one of them to be somewhere in this realm. You demonstrate the approximate size and shape of the gem, then mention the door of destiny and what you hope to find on the other side. Hmm, I do have that which you are seeking and know of the door of destiny. It is very old. Its origin is known to but a few. What I possess was known to the ancients as the birth gem. In the realm of the Mer people, it is called the water gem. For without water, life cannot begin. See. Might I have this gem, your majesty? I shall let you have the gem. Okay. But first I must ask you to earn it by way of performing a service for me. You are about to say anything. But then remember what you heard the last time you said that word to the stone door. Instead, you just nod and allow Neptune to continue. My trident, the symbol of my power and the strength of my people, has been stolen. A faint mumbling can be heard through the ear half of your bubble. This event is obviously of concern to those in attendance. It is believed that one of our allies and neighbors have taken advantage of the Mer people's kindness and that their own king now has possession of the trident. If you can reclaim it in the name of the Mer people, I will grant you ownership of the water gem. Will you do this, King Grim? The murmuring has stopped. All are awaiting your response. I would be honored to reclaim your trident, course, Your Majesty. My sentries will escort you to the border between our two kingdoms. You may continue to use that steed to hasten your journey. It is my best. My sincerest hopes that you do not fall victim to the Sharkies. As you prepare yourself for this new quest, a sudden pang of apprehension seizes you. Did the king just say sharkies, as in sharks? What? Talk to him. Your majesty, is there anything you can tell me about the sharkies? They are large, fierce, and carnivorous. Anything else? They are always hungry. Anything that might be of benefit? Like something to help you live longer? Yeah. I help. do recall that they have poorer vision than we mer people do as they dwell in the darker waters. So I might have a chance were I to encounter one. You can always hope. That was not inspiring. Talk to a little bit more. Why was your trident stolen? 
That is a matter of great concern to me. Should the Sharky King determine the Trident's nature, he would assuredly bring about the deaths of countless merpeople. Your words emerge as little more than a bubble. Good luck. Oh, he's off. He's off on his mission. As you depart the underwater kingdom, you see two guards waiting to escort you to the Sharky's realm. Here we come. The sentries swiftly guide you along the bottom of the seabed, descending into much darker, colder water. After keeping pace with them for what seems like an eternity, you notice a forebodingly dark area looming closer and closer. You have arrived at the border of the Sharky's Kingdom. This is as far as the sentries will take you. One of the guards salutes you, then they both head back to the safety of their own waters. You're on your own from here, Graham. Uh -oh. Those guards were sure in a big hurry to get out of here. This underwater realm belongs to the Sharkies. The water drops noticeably in temperature as you progress further into it. There are bound to be sentries on patrol around here, so you remind yourself to be alert. Save our progress. Sharky can Sharky Kingdom. I'll have to quit our game for now. For now. <laughs> 